I don't see any of these motherfuckers who really be inspiring motherfuckers, bro. They inspiring you to be drug addicts or fucking losers or criminals. Tell me not, bro. Tell me not. All I see is a bunch of drug addicts and criminals and fucking retards. Alibaba brands. Fuck, man. Y'all settled. Y'all too easily pleased. We only fucking with shit that has meaning and heart behind it. All the way down. I'm disappointed in all you motherfuckers. Y'all put the wackest people on. It's your fucking fault, bro. And that will be the downfall of everything. It's all up to you guys. Thanks a lot, bro. Thanks a lot. Man, I'm all loose and running, came the whisper from his head. And he's here to do some business with the big iron on his hip. Big iron on his hip. It was him who lived an outlaw by the name of Texas Red. Men have tried to take him and that many men were dead. Listen, guys. We're here making a video. Sean, he just flew in today you know i messaged him he said i'm there booked his flight and he's here matter of hours that's what i like about people you know they're about their shit they're about their action they try to make things happen they're not out here making plans saying are you free in 10 years are you free in 12 years now look it's go time we need to fucking get to work and start hustling okay Tomorrow's gone. The only thing that's here is right now. Guys, it's not about feeling good. It's not about happiness, it's not about joy. I'm not supposed to be happy. We're not supposed to be happy. We're supposed to be working. We're supposed to be getting better, stronger. Oh, but it hurts to squat, it hurts. Shut the fuck up and squat, motherfucker. There's no time to complain. Listen, we locked in this year. Is you locked in or is you not? You fumble in the bag, bro. You fumble in the fucking bag. This is the year we transform ourselves mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, everything. You were given a gift of life. Don't take it for fucking granted. Don't waste your time. God doesn't appreciate you fucking being lazy. He gave me the power to sprint. Gave me the power to fucking run. Gave me the power to do push-ups. He gave me the power to get stronger. You know what you guys use the power for? Complaining, being fucking annoying, being depressed, being retarded, being gay, being retarded, being lazy. Get off your ass. God's pissed at you. I've been loving you for quite some time, time, time You think that it's funny when I'm mad, mad, mad But I think that it's best if we both stay Oh shit, what are you doing here? Well guys, this is it, this is 7.30 printing A lot to take in here, a lot to take in we got some boxes, we're gonna get this organized. So right now it's the weekend, so um, no one's working right now. We get, we're here Monday through Friday, nine to five. It's my business partner, James. Yo, basically I think the philosophy for the print shop was that Austin was always getting rejected everywhere he went. Oh, can you do this? Can you do a bunch of color changes? Can you do this size? And so we wanted to make a shop where we never said no to anything. Like I think this job right here is a perfect example of what other people aren't doing. Look at that puff, guys. Nice puff. Color changes, all the stars are different. Look at this. Name another print shop who's, who's gonna accept this. We understand, we get the swag. We want fucking cool shit being made, you know? Not, not robotic. Yes, we do this. No, you cannot change color. We don't say no here. We're trying to push the limits, push the boundaries, you know? Do it big. Biggest prints, color changes, best puff. James is the fucking mastermind behind the print shop. There you go, I said it. 7.30 footwear. One of my other fucking ventures. It's gonna be bigger than Nike, bigger than Adidas. Fuck them, fuck them corporations. Yeah, I said it. Don't sleep on it, wait on it. So with Babbitt too, I'm gonna do these weekly revive drops. You know, this all adds character. This was some kid's fucking school hoodie. Who knows where this fucking kid is now? Now we fucking gave it new life. I want to have like retail locations, like stores, like think of like a thrift that's store. It. it gives it new life. No one gives a fuck about this hoodie. Now we printed Homer on there. 
Some kids goes, oh shit, I need the homer. I need the homer. Yeah, sometimes, you know, it costs a little extra to eat healthy, organic, whatever. It's worth the investment, guys. You'd be buying bullshit anyway. Listen, stop fucking filming me. Delete that shit. Don't worry about the past, don't worry about the future. Focus on what's right in front of you on your plate. One meal at a time. Got the sea salt? Sprinkle. 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 Salt is good for you guys. Don't believe what they tell you. Kids growing up, letting TikTok raise them. Be careful what your kid is consuming, what he's watching, you know. I see, I go to the grocery store, I see fucking babies in the cart on iPads. I go, this ain't right. This isn't what God intended. Can't open fucking Twitter or anything without seeing porn in my face. You know me, I'm trying not to jerk off this year. Then I'm fucking laying down at night, I see some crazy shit. The devil starts knocking on the door. Just fucking jerk off. Jerk off. Can't let the devil win, he's gonna creep in. Once you stop watching porn, the devil comes around. Come on, just watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. You no, know, fuck off, I'm not fucking falling for your tricks. So you gotta be careful, bro. The devil's gonna come around knocking at your fucking kid's door. Be careful. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Uh, one more video, one more time. This is the last time. This is the last time. You know, a lot of people didn't expect me to just move from Tennessee to the middle of nowhere. Leave New York. Sometimes you just gotta make sacrifices. Sometimes you just gotta lock in. Since I've been here, I've been very happy. I'm locked in, working, focusing on what matters. And it's beautiful here. I got the river in my backyard. Look at this. Show the river. I'm like, yeah, you know what? That's what life's about. This is it. We're nature. I'm gonna go back to the fucking ground when I die. Fucking decompose. And who knows what's gonna happen, you know? Just my body, you know? This is just my controller, you know? It's crazy, because this really isn't me. Some, there's something up here that's me. Up there. This is just my fucking character. It's really crazy, man. What should I be thinking about? Last year, my resolution was not to drink out of plastic. Probably like five plastic water bottles last year. But yeah, my main thing with health is just trying to avoid all like processed bullshit and chemicals and shit like that. I haven't ate fast food in like three years, four years almost. That shit, you know, it uh, alters your fucking brain and your body and it makes you a fucking weirdo, so. All that stuff they feed you, it's to fucking destroy your connection with the world. Learn a skill, that's what I'ma say. Learn a skill, cause soon, everything gets so convenient that all skills will be lost. We already don't know how to farm and garden and do all that shit. Soon with self-driving cars, no one's gonna know how to drive. You know, so these skills are what needs to be passed down through the years or else everything will be forgotten. Soon no one will know how to sew. Soon no one will know how to do everything because the fucking robots will do it all. Let's keep this shit human, bro. No care.